One quick shout out from a massive influencer will make you millions. That's the world's greatest myth. Influencer marketing is not dead. It's not too late to get into it. So if you want to see a huge boost in sales from influencer marketing, there's one very simple thing you need to do, and that is In today's video, you're gonna learn how to master influencer marketing, whether you are running your own business or you need to do this for your job, this video is going to be for you. This video is the only one that you're gonna need in order to master influencer marketing because we're gonna go in depth in this very complete guide. Today, we're gonna answer these commonly asked questions. First of all, what is influencer marketing? Secondly, how effective is influencer marketing really in today's day and age? Also, do you need to be paying influencers to be able to work with them? We're gonna answer how much does it cost to run an influencer program and what you should be doing if you're reaching out to influencers and they just don't wanna work with your brand. Maybe they're giving you crickets. And if you wanted to start your own influencer program, how should you be setting it up? Now guys, if there are any questions that I won't be going over in today's video, then make sure that you're dropping them in the comment section and I will definitely answer it, but it is possible that I answer them as we go. So buckle in and let's get into it. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Michelle Bally. I'm a creative strategist. And guys, I'm really excited to share what I know with you because if I do say so myself, I have helped build a killer affiliate strategy for an e-commerce brand in the fashion space. And I'm gonna share all of my secrets of how I did it with you guys here today. So if you guys like getting insider tips about marketing and e-commerce, then make sure that you're hitting subscribe because that's all we do on this channel here. But yeah, all right, let's get into the questions. Okay, so first of all, what is influencer marketing? So very simply put, influencer marketing is when an influencer helps a brand sell their products or services. And if you wanna know what influencers are defined as, they're gonna be someone who has influence over their community. They don't have to have millions of followers for them to have influence or for them to make money for your brand. And you wanna know something super crazy? When I was working with this fashion company, we had a girl who had 5,000 followers and she was our biggest money maker. And guys, we were working with full on celebrities, like. There was this one singer in particular that I can think of. She had over a million followers and she couldn't sell as much product as this one really sweet girl. You know, that being said, don't underestimate the power that smaller influencers can have, especially when they are super tapped into their community. So as a brand, how can you get started working with influencers? You can ask an influencer to make an Instagram or a Be Real or a TikTok post and have them include your product. You can even ask them to include you in a blog post. Something that's sometimes overlooked is you can work with influencers on events and activations, product collaborations, or even create an entire brand together. For example, a client that I worked with, her name is Jenna Meek. Hey Jenna, if you're watching this, what's up? She teamed up with this super influencer. Her name is Jess Hunt. And together they created a new makeup brand called Refi. They didn't even know each other before that, but they connected and went into business together and built the entire business off the back of Jess's success as an influencer and Jenna's business savviness. I mentioned that to show you that Influencer marketing can stretch beyond just paying an influencer to make a TikTok. There are definitely ways to get creative with it and lots of money to be made, which we'll talk about how to do in just a sec. But first, let me answer this question that I'm sure all of you guys are having. Do you need to pay influencers to work with them? So the answer is no. You don't need to pay influencers to endorse your products. There are hundreds of thousands of influencers that would be willing to do it for free. But sometimes I hear business owners are getting frustrated because you might wanna send them a product in exchange for a free shout out, but an influencer might be like, sorry, no, I can't do it for free. Like, here's my rate. You know what I mean? So what do you do if an influencer won't do a shout out in exchange for a product? Okay, so this is a common problem. So you have two choices. You can either move on and find another influencer that would be willing because there will be, or second option, you can pay them for their work. The reason that they're asking for money is because they know their value and they know how effective their advertising is. And they're not willing to do it for free, which is fair, you know? So that could actually be a good sign because that could mean you might actually wanna work with this influencer. But before paying them though, make sure that you're asking them for screenshots of results from previous campaigns so that you can see how much product they've been able to sell in the past and how effective their shout outs truly are. But what if influencers are just completely ghosting you left, right, and center? What if they just don't wanna work with your brand and you just can't figure out why? And how do you make them wanna work with your brand? 
Okay, first of all, the reason they may not be super interested in working together is because influencers need one of three things to be willing to work with a brand. One, money. Two, the clout of working with a cool brand. And three, meaning behind working with a brand that they actually believe in. A lot of you watching are probably just starting out your brand, so maybe paying every influencer isn't really an option right now. And if you are a new brand, you probably aren't yet super successful with tons of clout. So that's where that last piece comes in. That's where that meaning piece comes in. To get influencers on board, you want to get them to drink the Kool-Aid. You want to share with them why your product is so amazing, how you are doing incredible charitable work about the people that work there. And you want to do this in your emails, in that back and forth through friendly conversation and build a brand deck that you send to influencers with all this educational content that will absolutely sell them on you as a person and your brand. So here's an example of a deck, like a document that I was just talking about, just like this. So I will pop that on screen for you guys to check out. And you would simply just attach that to an email. To make an influencer want to work with you as a new brand, you're really gonna wanna aim for that meaning piece. Make influencers excited about working with a brand that is so aligned with their values. And guys, making emotional and personal connections with influencers is going to be key, 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 key especially when you don't have the money to pay influencers up front. Just because you're not paying an influencer, that doesn't mean that the endorsement is completely free. You still have to pay shipping and you still have to pay the cost of goods. And if you're working at a company setting this up, you need to account for the cost of labor that goes into managing this program. So you can keep track of all those expenses with a spreadsheet just like this. Feel free guys to take a screenshot here if this would be helpful to you. But yeah, holistically running an influencer program will cost you money up front. And you're gonna to wanna to budget for that, especially as an entrepreneur. Now, if you're an employee and your boss is expecting you to develop an influencer program for free, you can give him or her this face. I'm literally just trying to raise my eyebrow. I can't do the one eyebrow. You go right ahead and tell them that Michelle said, that I said, that it is not realistic and you're gonna need budget, okay? Don't let them try to peer pressure you. Running an influencer program is never gonna be free. How effective is influencer marketing really? So as a business owner, it can feel really scary to invest money in sending products to influencers or even paying them outright. So I definitely get why you'd want to know how effective influencer marketing is before even going into it. So the answer is influencer marketing is gonna be as effective as your strategy. I have seen failed influencer programs. It is possible to lose all the money that you've invested, it's possible. But I've also seen extremely successful influencer programs making 10 times their money. So in short, yes, influencer marketing is extremely effective, but it has to be with the right strategy. So if you wanna learn how to create the right strategy, then you've definitely clicked on the right video because we're gonna go through that right now. How to set up your influencer marketing. Okay, so to get started with influencer marketing, you need to build a program with a clear strategy, even if and actually, I should say, especially if you are a solo entrepreneur, this is gonna be extremely important. If you don't build a program and you're just kind of willy nilly with it, that is a sure way to lose money. I know because I've seen this happen before with a business that I worked with. So you can follow along and make a playbook the way that I'm doing it here on Canva. Okay, woo, I am so excited to explain this. I could go on for days about this topic because when I tell you I live and breathe this, I live and breathe this. Okay, so step number one, build the structure of your program. To build the structure, you first wanna define what kind of influencers you wanna work with and who you're gonna accept into your program. And be clear on the criteria that the influencers are gonna to have to meet in order for you to be reaching out to them in the first place. So in your playbook, you're gonna to wanna to include what kind of content they make. Maybe you only wanna work with mommy bloggers. You're also gonna to wanna to write down what is the aesthetic that they bring. Maybe these mommy bloggers need to have a very clean kind of look. You're also gonna to wanna to write down what kind of followers they have in terms of demographics and psychographics. So maybe you want to market to Australians that value vegan living. And also guys, write down how much engagement their content has to have. So maybe that's above 2%. You can add other attributes that are important to you as well here on this page. Okay, cool. So we're clear on which types of influencers we're gonna be accepting into our program, but next we wanna define how influencers are actually gonna move through the program. And we're gonna do this with an influencer journey map, just like this one here. This map creates a plan to keep influencers engaged with your brand. So the reason that we need an influencer journey map 
Well, I actually had to learn this the hard way. You can't just send an influencer a product once and expect them to be your biggest advocates for the rest of their lives. You actually need to continue to send them products. You need to continue to send them emails, meet them in real life, all that kind of stuff, because you need to keep that relationship alive. This is crucial because if you're just sending influencers product once, and then never hearing from them again, that is an extremely expensive way of running an influencer program. Acquiring an influencer into your program is gonna cost you the most. However, as you retain influencers and continue to work with them, you're gonna start to see the best ROI for the program. So let me show you how you're gonna create this influencer journey map. This map is amazing because it's designed to repeat for each influencer that enters your program. So it's very rinse and repeat and it's gonna keep influencers engaged with your brand. Okay, so you're gonna make a flowchart just like this using Canva. And high level, you can see that it's gonna outline all the different phases and touch points an influencer goes through within the program. So to start, I recommend that influencers enter the relationship as a tier one influencer. This is where you are not paying influencers for their content, you are just exchanging product for content. This is almost like a trial run to see how effective they are before you move them on to the next phase. So here on the flow chart, you wanna include all the touch points like the initial email with the outreach, how many products they receive and all of that. And you can be creative with the types of touch points like maybe after you send them a product, you're adding them to your close friends list on Instagram to make them feel like they're a part of your community. Then you wanna define what the criteria is to move them further into the program to become a tier two influencer. Now, what I've seen work is they have to post three times about you. And then in that case, once they post three times about you, they move on to tier two. But what if they don't meet that criteria? What happens then? So here you wanna put that they're gonna get a reminder email. And if they still don't post, you're gonna boot them out of the program, okay? Bye. <laughs> now, before I move on to the next step, I wanna offer you a free marketing plan template. Okay, guys, it's gonna help you plan a rock solid strategy for driving sales on your online store. You can download it right here by clicking in the corner. And guys, actually, this template is part of a totally free e-commerce course designed to help get your business up and running quickly. So if you're interested in the course or if you're interested in the template, I will leave more information in the description box below. Okay, so in tier two is when you start an affiliate relationship. The difference between a tier one influencer and a tier two affiliate is by this point, you like their content, you know that they're dedicated and you know that you're kind of ready to be more serious with them. But with an affiliate, you're gonna give them unique discount codes and links for their customers to use. And every time that a customer does use them, they'll get a percentage of the sale. And of course, it's gonna be a symbiotic relationship because you get to leverage their audience that you would have never had access to otherwise. So if we look at what's actually going on in tier two, there's gonna be multiple touch points at this phase. You can choose to send products once every couple of months. That's pretty standard. Uh, you can also choose to include in-person events like influencer dinners. That happens, you know, a couple times a year. And I learned this tip from my friends over at Grin. So definitely check out Grin. We'll talk about that in a second, but you can keep influencers posting about you on a regular basis by creating what's called surges. A surge is when an influencer can make one and a half or even two times the amount of their regular commission, but only during a certain time period, like every first week of the month, for example. So they urgently feel like they wanna post about you to their stories or to their feed and get sales flowing so that they can make more money. You would just let your affiliates know that the surge is going on via email and let them do their magic. As far as how much commission you wanna pay them, I would say standard is 10%, but it can be as high as 20% but no more than that for most businesses because it would really start to eat into your margins because you're also gonna to need to offer their audience a discount as well to incentivize customers to buy. And usually that's anywhere from 10 to 20%. So it's a lot, right? It's like, okay, you have to incentivize influencers to post about you. You have to incentivize customers to buy from you and that can add up. So unless you have crazy, insanely high margins, you definitely want to do 10 for the influencer and 10 for the customer. Tier one, tier two is usually a good place to start. But if you find that you have influencers that are absolutely killing it with their discount codes, they're making you a ton of money, then you might wanna think about creating a tier three that makes them feel like absolute royalty because you wanna retain them and you wanna keep them feeling happy about your brand. So in tier three, you can include more regular gifts, you can include higher commission and more touch points like commenting and liking their content on social media and creating and fostering real relationships. So you're probably thinking, oh my God, okay, constant emails, dinners, discount codes, there's just so much going on in order to run an influencer program. 
And yeah, you're right. There's a lot, <laughs> but there is this tool that I'm obsessed with that I just spoke about. It's called Grin, guys. Grin is going to help you manage these relationships all in one place. This is the only tool that you will need in order to run your influencer program. So here you can do influencer research and fire off emails directly in Grin. You can set up discount codes for affiliates. You can track how much money they're making you. And you can even pay your affiliates straight from Grin. And another really cool feature that I love is any photo that you are tagged in will show up on Grin so that you can save it and repost it later. So I personally love Grin and I love the people that work there, but of course there are other options out there too. There is Aspire and Impact, so definitely check those out. Now this tool does not come cheap guys, so you definitely make sure that you're doing research to see that it does have all the features that you need for your specific needs. But trust me guys, you cannot run an influencer marketing program without a productivity tool, you do need it. Okay, so you've got a plan, you've got your tools. Now you need to figure out how the work is gonna be divided to run this epic machine of a program. I have a friend who runs the influencer marketing program all by herself of a medium-sized company. And I'm like, honey, no, this isn't right. You need a team, okay? So if you wanna see a huge boost in sales from influencer marketing, there's one very simple thing you need to do and that is hire a team. If you're a solo entrepreneur and you wanna take influencer marketing seriously, do not do it all by yourself either. Hire a team or at least hire one person and get some help from freelancer or Upwork. But for all of my people watching that do have a bit of budget or maybe you're working at a company, ideally you would have one person to manage outreach and tier one influencers. Then you would have a second person to manage tier two influencers and retention. Also, one of these people would have to be in charge of shipments and making sure everyone's getting their packages. And the other one of those people would be in charge of making sure that the content that your influencers are producing is actually being used, whether that's on social media, emails, or ads. And then finally, you would need someone that is in the numbers all day, every day, and can really interpret what's working, what's not working, and help you build a strategy and bring forward ideas as you grow your program. So you've got two doers and one thinker. One quick shout out from a massive influencer will make you millions. That's the world's greatest myth. Now it's all about working at scale with hundreds of influencers to be able to see real growth and real revenue. This is just a more sustainable, economically friendly model than working with massive influencers. I always wanna keep it real. It's a slow and steady race to the top and even slower if it's only you working on this on your team. So I would really suggest that you do invest some money into hiring so that you can scale this program. So speaking of scale, as you scale, you're gonna to wanna to keep track of how much money you're spending, how much money you're making, and how your program is performing. So keep track of these metrics on a monthly basis in a Google spreadsheet. Costs of goods. You wanna keep track of how much money you're spending just on the production of the goods that you're sending to these influencers. So let's say, for example, my lipsticks cost 50 cents to make and I send out 50 packages last month, then I would write down in a spreadsheet that my cost of goods in February was 25 bucks. Now, obviously guys, your cost of goods is gonna be much higher than this. On the last project that I was working on, the company that I was working with was spending upwards of $50,000 a month. And that was just on cost of goods alone. Yeah, that was a medium sized company. So really just giving you an idea of how you can really scale your gifting efforts. The next metric you're gonna to wanna to keep track of is how much it costs to ship the goods. This information is really easy to find in Shopify or Grin. Next, keep track of how much you're paying employees or freelancers to run and manage this program. So if you have someone on salary, you'd basically just break it up into how many hours a week they work and input that number here. You also wanna keep track of how much you're paying influencers in commission or outright, so you can put that number here. And add a section for the cost of any tools that you're using like Grin right over here. So those are all your costs. Okay, but if you also wanna keep track of your revenue, you're gonna to wanna to make a section for that. So you can track revenue from Grin really easily and subtract the costs from the revenue. Just like this, you're gonna find out the profit and the ROI of the program holistically. I even in a different cell write this express in a decimal to see how much money I'm getting in return. So if you're a small business, 2X revenue is a really great place to start. I like to make a section to keep track of my top performing influencers so that I can see over time who has been a consistent performer and then I can go back and reward those influencers and affiliates. So I'll include my top five every month, just like this here. And that is more or less how you track the ROI of your influencer and affiliate program. You can get actually even more granular than this with CPM and more metrics. But for me, these are the metrics that are gonna be the most important to you, especially if you are on a tight budget and you wanna make sure that your money is making money. So yeah, hopefully this has helped. Did you know that you can actually start your store right now with Shopify for free? 
Shopify offers a free trial for three days, no credit card required. So if you guys are interested in that, I will leave a link for you guys right over here. Okay, so I feel like this video has been 3 million years long, but if you follow the steps, I know this will be helpful to you because this is the foundation that I built for an e-commerce company, which turned out to be a trackable, scalable, and profitable framework. Profitable over everything. Influencer marketing is not dead. It's not too late to get into it. You just need to have the right strategy in place. And yeah, that is the beauty about YouTube. You did not need to go to school to learn this and you didn't need to sit in on my meetings to get this strategy. This is all here and available for you for free on this channel, Learn With Shopify. And if you guys are new here, definitely think about subscribing because whether you are an aspiring entrepreneur or you are in the e-commerce game, or even if you're working for a company and you wanna level up your skills, then this is the place to be. Hit that like button if you thought this was one of the more all-encompassing videos on this topic. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Michelle Valley. I'm a creative strategist and have been your host for today's video. I'm here for you guys every week and I cannot wait to see you guys next week. Peace.